All right, it is that time again. Welcome back to another episode of the Flow the Girl podcast. And this week I have my wife, Kiana, and we talk about our relationship, kind of going off of what our previous episodes were, and just talking more about how it's maybe evolved a little bit, shifted, changed. And then we also go into our wedding and talk about the things that we, knowing what we know now, what we would do differently if we were to do the day again. We talk about our biggest pieces of advice. We talk about different non-traditional type things that we did, just in case anyone's planning a wedding and wants some ideas. And we talk, like I said, a lot about the things that maybe we would change for what we know now. But I do want to point out that it was a phenomenal day. Like we both had such a great time. The weather, we really lucked out on the weather. It was, it was beautiful. And I'm pretty sure there was not a second that went by that I did not have a smile on my face. It was a great day. But we just really focused on the things I would maybe do differently and the advice and things like that. Like I said, in case someone else is listening, planning a wedding, and wants to hear from someone who's been through it and just giving kind of that honest feedback from what we experienced. Now, I do have another piece of advice, and this is more so around the financial aspect. And that is to invest, not invest, but this is to utilize the app called Acorns. I think there's different things you can do with it, but really the main reason why I got it is because I struggle with actively saving money or put my, putting money into a savings account or like putting money aside to save. Like I, it needs to just be automatic for me. And so every single, I believe it's a week, $5 goes from my checking into this Acorns app. And you can change that amount. Like you can do 10, 20, 50, whatever it is. You can do whatever amount you want and set it to however many times, maybe it's a couple times a week, once a month, however many times a month, however many times you want it to automatically go in there. And I believe it also takes change from different transactions and puts that into the Acorns app as well, if you choose. So I encourage you to do that because for me, I like it's something that you set and forget. I did this, I started this maybe a couple years ago. And like I said, set it, forgot about it. And I used it for something else in the past, but then more months went by, forgot about it, and then realized when I was trying to come up with money for different things for the wedding that we had to pay for, I remembered, oh yeah, I have my acorns up. Let's see how much is in there. And it was a few hundred dollars, which was really freaking nice to be able to just be like, okay, I'm going to use that because I don't have anything that specific that I was using it for. I was just setting money aside for times like this for really whenever. And so it was nice to be able to have that to put towards the wedding. So however you budget your wedding, uh, this is something that can help and something that there's really no strings attached to this app. Like there's no fees, no nothing. Take a look, look it up. And actually in the show notes, I'm going to put a link that you can use and we actually will both get a $5 bonus. Now, $5 isn't a lot, but Sometimes you just need a little incentive to get you done, to just do the thing and start it. So once you get your account, everything filled out, out, set up, whatever, then you and I both will get $5 bonus and you can share this with friends as well and pass it on. All right, I'm going to leave you with that and I hope you enjoy the rest of this episode with me and Kiana. Episode number four, right? Yeah, if you're not counting the one was like Alicia and stuff. Right, yeah. Actually, the third one was a part, was two parts. Yeah. So I guess I'm kind of a three. Um, we're drinking some brambles right now. And it's your one of your favorite drinks right now. Mm-hmm. How do you make it? Because I made it wrong. No, you just didn't strain out the food. Oh, yeah. I'll well, straight it out. Yeah, that's true. That's one ounce lime juice, one ounce simple syrup, and then the muddled strawberries. And then you strain it? Yeah. Well, no. I put the gin in, shake it all together, then I strain out the... Okay. So anyways, if you ever want to try a bramble, it's very good. Okay. So what are we talking about today? Wedding stuff and relationship stuff. What's your relationship first, then wedding? about our relationship 
just like how it's changed and evolved in the past couple of years since our last episode, or I guess since like the beginning. Okay, ways our relationship has changed. Mm, I don't know. Do you have an answer for this? Yeah, dang. I should have like wrote this down because I kind of thought about this. But I think one thing is that not that like like I don't I don't want to use the word comfortable, but like I feel like I'm more comfortable with talking or like bringing things up, talking to you. Not that I wasn't before, but I feel like I'm more like just more able to do that. And for me, this might be one of the other questions. I feel like I've learned more about you and who you are and like your personality and how you respond, just different things. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, sometimes you get into these moods (laughs) or like, like before I like would always think that you were mad at me or like you were upset about something and really you're not it's you're it's just like who you are in that moment and in that time it's just in a mood in a mood yeah and and so I for me I don't take it personal anymore I don't take it as like I've been doing better with telling you that like you I'm have. not mad at you you have yeah. you do really good about like with that yeah. like I think I don't do you like notice that I'm feeling like that I'm a certain way and then you tell me or what yeah, well, and I just try to, I don't know, I don't want to make you feel bad. Yeah. When I'm like that. Yeah. I am, yeah, I can, I can tell you, like, any time that's happened to you, it's just been like, I'm not mad at you, or I wasn't mad at you, mm-hmm. or anything. Yeah. Um. What else has changed in the relationship? Do you have an answer for this? I don't know. I just learned a little more about, like, little ticks that the other person has, you know? Yeah, that's true. What is from my text? I can't think of any right now. Oh, uh-huh. why do you? Can you think of one? Or- yeah, I'm trying to think of because, like, sometimes, like, like I rarely get mad, but when I do, like, if I get annoyed or frustrated, it like it, I really get annoyed and frustrated. Yeah, you do, and like way more than you should. Yeah. Like yesterday when you were annoyed. Oh, okay. Well, that you had no reason to be annoyed. But whatever. That. That's <laughs> I know. But that's 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 something. That, no. Yeah. No, I know. <laughs> yeah, I think just overall how we just learning more about how we both like act and different things and like personality wise, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I had more to say about that, but now I can't remember. <laughs> Maybe we'll come back to me. Maybe. Was there another question? We've been together. We just got married. Too long. <laughs> yeah, things we learned about each other. Like, kind of oh yeah. Bit. What? Okay. So, what else have you learned about me in the last year or so? Um, kind of going back to what we were just talking about. You like, if you have something set in your mind an exact way, and like the smallest thing goes off with it or like doesn't work out right that like sets you off like you get super annoyed and i'm like yeah dude it It sets me off it sets me off yeah and it annoys me like i don't like go i don't like get all mad but you get you get get easily annoyed yeah but i think part of that i'm i i'm like annoyed with myself because i think part of that is because i i'm not doing my like work within myself that i used to and so I, think, I feel like because, like, these are things that, like, I normally want to have gotten super annoyed at, but may, but now that I think about it, maybe not, like, and maybe it just wasn't, isn't as often, wasn't as often when I was doing, meditating. like, meditation yeah. and, like, what? Meditating. Yeah. Like, meditating, reading, taking more time to myself, like, internally doing things. Really, I, I can total, I can see a total difference right now. Yeah, well, do it then. I know, working on it, it's working on it. I think another thing, okay, so we should talk about, because we've had a couple fights mm-hmm. since our last episode, ones that have involved alcohol and ones, even like ones that have it, or like little arguments. Yeah, like what are you thinking about? Like, uh, like that time after Kevin and Mackenzie's, remember when we went to Taco Bell and like, you'll... Uh, Oh, this is God. when you're drunk. It really doesn't happen when you're sober. It's when you're drunk. Like you, I will say one thing and you'll take it the wrong way. 
and you're instantly upset, don't want to talk, you're like mad. No. Yes. I mean, yes, but whatever you said that night, I didn't take it the wrong way. I took it as you said it. But it's not how I meant it. So but you it is it, how you said it. Right. It, it's how I said it and that's how you interpreted it, but that's not what I meant. That's not how I like you meant it. You said. Yeah. Because I don't. I, I I told you the next day. We talked about this the next day. Yeah, but what did you say? I don't no, know. No, it's it was what because we were driving and you were telling me to like look at something or something, and I was trying to focus on the road. I didn't want to get pulled over, like because no, so I was like, I was showing you to train your brakes on. Oh, that's right. And at that time, I and then I just like there said, was no cars around, no nothing. There was no, there wasn't. Up ahead of us, there was you, way ahead of us. You would have been fine if you just okay. Been for I know, a second. But I just whatever. Regardless, I just had said I like didn't want to do that or whatever. And you just got you just got so upset. Except there was something else before that, though. I feel like there might have been whatever. It doesn't matter now. Yeah, but. I feel like at times that's like kind of what happens is like, I'll say something. It's not how I mean it, but it's how you take interpret it, which is fine. But then when you get mad and this is, I think mostly when we're drinking, I feel like then you, you don't want to be around me. You don't want to talk to me. You don't want to talk it out. Like nothing. I have learned about you that we, we sometimes need to go to bed mad at each other or upset. And I need to be okay with like, not working it out and being okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need to be okay with not taking it so hard, harshly within myself. I just need some time to cool off sometimes. Because I know that I... it In my family, we're very reactive and just say shit that we don't necessarily mean when we're upset, and I don't want to do that ever. Mm -hmm. So that's why I just, like, I want to be alone and just, like, calm down, because otherwise... Right, right, right. I don't yeah. want to make it worse. Yeah. But the way that, but then the way that you tell me to leave is also not really. reactive. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> yeah, that night it wasn't so good. Yeah. So I feel like uh, more of the arguments have been drinking, like alcohol has been involved. But then there's been some that has, I'm trying to think of times that where alcohol was not involved. I think another thing too is this is happening more and more lately, I can tell. What? Where I think one thing, you think another. And it's like, like with the towels situation. And I was like, no, last time there was, like, I, I, there's never been a time when I have done laundry and there was, no, see, and I don't think that. So it's like, we each think something. We talked about this earlier, though. Your memory is not as good. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) But, but. We're going to get a flight on here. (laughs) But another prime example here is when. We were trying to find your ring, <laughs> and you. That kept, was my fault. Yeah. See, but I feel see? like that. Back up, though. I admit it. I say, yeah, I fucked up. Okay, yes, that's good. That's fine. You don't do that. <laughs> I I will admit it in the times where I like a hundred percent, like like I will own up to my shit. But if I like, well, give to, me an example. But, but then, I, like, how am I supposed to prove that there's been other times where you haven't left towels? I can't. Right. But I know that there has been. Right. Because I get annoyed me, by it every single time. So I'm like, I just want a towel to dry my hands off, and there isn't one. Okay. So this. So then, for me, I all I I, I remember it being where there was one or two that are dirty that we can use. Because anytime you're like, do we have any towels around? Then yes, I go grab you one. Like I, that like for me, that's what I remember. So for me, I can't prove that. So then how am I supposed to own up to that? I, I think, I think in this. You see, it's, say <laughs> see, you it's something like this. this all, that we, yeah, but we all you, like really all it, would, all it could have been is just you being like, yeah, my bad. I forgot this time. I won't do it again. Or like that no, one. No, I think, I, but I don't, I don't want to just give in like that if I believe one. I think yeah. that what I could have done though, what? No, no, I get it. Yeah. Okay. So, but what I could do is that, like, if I could just say, well, I don't, that, like, that's not how I remember it, but I will make sure to not do that moving forward. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So things like that. But then I feel like that has to be, we both have to do that. So for a moment, right. So here's so here I'm gonna put this out there because this needs to be recorded. I we were looking for her 
now wedding her ring and get the yeah wedding ring and uh couldn't find it anywhere and you accused me of moving it you're like you're you always move stuff on the table blah blah, yeah. blah you moved it you and i felt really bad and i like see another one of these times where i remember 100 i didn't do anything with it i left it there i did nothing I with it. It. but you yeah you kept doing that and then and then i opened i would i like stood there and i was like staring straight i was over there and i was staring straight at the cupboards and i'm like just thinking okay take a moment where could this be and then i saw the cupboard and i'm like boom right there because you always put like lately you have been putting shit up there random stuff up there so i looked and there it was yeah and there it was so that guy was in that house yeah i just saw no he wasn't he just i didn't see him go in there did you see him come out i just saw him walk shut the door yeah i just saw him walk up to it and then leave um but yeah so like that's a situation you can look back on and remember in times when you always are accusing me of something (laughs) god this one time you're just gonna hold it above my head huh yeah yeah Mm -hmm. that's some shit I'm not going to hold it above your head. I'm just, I just try and re- remind you of that. Like, remember that one time? <laughs> I it above my head. Well, yeah, because if you, there's other times when you're like, you, you moved it, you did this, you did blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, I didn't. And I can be like, remember that one time when, uh, maybe that's not healthy. I don't know. Probably not. <sighs> Anyways. What's your next? What's, what's next? Okay. Wait, were we done talking about that? See, I feel like there's just been more of these like little things, disagreement. They're just like, but I think that's learning about each other. I don't, I don't think there's any more now. No, I know. I'm that's come up. I think since the first, last time we recorded, oh, yeah. but not a lot. No, yeah, yeah. We don't have. It made it sound like we have a lot of those. Oh no, sorry, no, we don't. I just, yeah, I just meant like more than before. And because, yeah, because I had said that, I feel like I sometimes need to go to bed and be okay. Like at the wedding, Hannah said one of the things that her advice was not to go to bed angry. And I always hear a lot of people saying that, don't go to bed angry. But I've also started to see the opposite where it's okay to go to bed angry. And I think it depends on the person. Like you said, you need to just like, if it's, I think if it's like in the morning time or like daytime, then we can like just uh, like yeah. talk about it after a while. But if it's at nighttime, it's then sometimes it's okay to just like go to go to bed, sleep on it, and then talk about it. Yeah. But there was one time you didn't want to talk about it until way later, and I was just was just like killing me inside. Yeah, when was that? Mm-hmm. When was after a volleyball game? I think recently. No, not super recently. Mm-hmm. Like, like like this year, year? Mm-hmm, the summer. Oh, that oh, was pissing me off. No, because I remember when something about you had some. Oh, you had your wet your seltzer on top of the car. I shut my door and it fell, and you got upset about that. But then I feel like there was wasn't. Oh wait, no. It was there. There's all, all day. Like there was something that was going on. I was not mad at you for that. What is the time I'm thinking of where we were? I don't remember. I don't know either. What's something good that we've learned about each other? <laughs> I mean, that's a good thing. But oh, that is good. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah, but man, we make it sound like we fight a lot. I know. Uh, <laughs> we we do. don't. I mean, it's every now, like we, like you said, we've learned each other's like ticks and different things, and I think that, like, not everything's going to be like we're not going to get along all the time. Seven. Right. But I think what is awesome is that you, you will say like, "I'm not mad at you," or you'll like do something. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. Yeah. And sweating stuff. I feel like there's more that I want to talk about from the relationship stuff. Is that really it? I don't know. I think so. It's all this is all you sent me. I just copied and pasted. I know. I'm just trying to think if there's like anything else. What about like like when we first met? I think this, this happens with like any relationship. There's always like the the spark and the high of like a new relationship or like a new thing going on. Mm-hmm. How do you feel like that's like changed or shifted? Well, it really has that much. Do you think so? No, I just think I feel it's just different. Yeah. Not in a bad way. Like, I feel like, ugh, I don't know. It's not like a new feeling anymore. But right. It's like, I don't know. But- I just think about like when I, 
when I would come over, I remember you told me this once that you would like clean quickly, put everything in the. I would just throw shit in my closet. Yeah, in the closet. Yeah. Hey, it's not. Broccoli. That's probably not really like you wouldn't do that. No. Well, because we live together. Right. Yeah. 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 So when I'm going to go. First of all, you're usually home before I am anyways. But didn't you do so, that just to, like, because, like, because it was the beginning of, like, something, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Not as much. Yeah. But how would I do that now? No, I know. I know. You wouldn't. I couldn't. Right. Because you're home before <laughs> I am. So what? I'm going to run upstairs and do it after you're already home. Upstairs, quick, put everything in the closet. Don't go upstairs. <laughs> No. Yeah, I guess like not a whole life a lot has like super changed. Do you feel like less of anything towards me? Like less excitement or like less like not like attraction, but like no. I re- <laughs> I remember <laughs> more annoyed. <laughs> That's okay. I remember um when I asked Okay, we'll get into the wedding now. But I remember when I asked what, like, what's going to happen after, what happens after we get married or something? Or, like, what, like, the stage after marriage? I don't remember. But you said the being in love stage or being in love part. Do you remember that? No. You don't remember that? Yeah, you're, like, the, the being, just being in love stage. I've already been in that, though. I know. But, like, just, I maybe it was, like, keep, keep being in love. Yes, like, yes, yes, yes. It, that's must have been what it was, yeah. So, with that, wedding, I want to know. This is me after the morning when after you were working and stuff. Yep. Like, what was? Are we going to talk about that? Yeah, we will. But, okay. but what was when you were like waiting for me to come for the first look in the vows? Like, what was? Were you were you nervous, excited? What was going through your head? Um, I was glad that it was just finally happy. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then what was your first like what was your initial like thoughts or reaction when we did the first look? That's I think that's when it like really hit me that we're doing this. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, mm-hmm. like it's for real. Mm-hmm. What did you what did you think Pilot? looked? Was <laughs> <laughs> that awesome. all you cared about? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was worried if you would, about if you would like the I, I think I knew that you would like the dress, but I loved it. I'm really, I'm so, okay, now I, I'm so happy I got it. I don't know if I told you this or not. I don't think I did because, like, it, this is a specific detail. So uh, you knew that I was going back and forth between two dresses. Mm-hmm. And one that was in Minnesota, but I decided not to get that. Um, So it was two that was here in Sioux Falls from Marie and Marie Bridal downtown. And there was a day I went in. Luckily, they there was really no one in there because they loved me. It was like probably like an hour. I kept going back and forth between the two. Mm-hmm. Didn't know which one to have. but. I there the, there was one particular dress, the one that I got. Mm-hmm. I cried twice. You told me that, and I th- yeah. So oh. that part, yes. Um, but just on here, and I thought that um maybe it was the music that was playing. So I kept like putting the other dress on, but I still like didn't cry even with the music. Mm-hmm. Now prior to doing that day where I was going back and forth, when I was in Minnesota at the other two places, the 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 dress that I got. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. Back up a second. The <laughs> bridal shop, the dress shop that we were at, I can't remember the name of it. I can't remember the town. What's that like more higher end, like richer town? Edina. Edina. Had no idea. It sounded fancy, but I didn't I didn't really know it was like a higher end, richer town. Yep, it is. Went there, tried dresses on. I had showed them the my top dress, which is the one that I got, that I was looking at in Sioux Falls. And they're like, no, but come here. We used to have this dress. Like we, they had just sent it over to the. Um, it's more of like a consignment one. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was still like brand new, but they just couldn't hold. They had, they had so many dresses. They're yeah. like in. They just didn't have space to hold it, so they gave it to the, that consignment, which is like Brides of France, I think, in that in Edina, which is like walking distance. Mm-hmm. That was my first sign. Was that they had it, and it, we went to Brides of France, and I tried it on. I still wasn't sure, but that was my first sign. Was that. That I, that that's the one was because how, what are the, what are the chances? Right. And the other one I had I had demanded a sign from the universe, <laughs> and 
And I rem- I don't remember where I was, but I remember like looking up at this wall and seeing leaves in like the same leaf design that it's like on my dress. Mm-hmm. And I was like, holy shit. Okay. Okay. And I think I maybe saw leaves at like one other spot, one other place, whatever. So I was like, okay, that's a sign. Like that's, this is like probably the one. And then the fact that I cried and I just, could, I just overall, I always pictured myself more in that, in the one that I got, like with the tool and everything. I want to see your second pick. I showed it to you. Did you? Mm-hmm. The one that was, it was also off the shoulder, very like Julie at the top. And then the, the bottom part wasn't tool. It was more like a silky, like. I'll show it to you again if you want, but I don't know if I remember that. I'll show it to you. You said that you liked the other one better, though. The one that you wore. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So then when you were at the altar, or at like the... Wait, wait, wait. What What were your thoughts when we did the first look? Oh, yeah. Okay. When we did the first look, and like, Mm -hmm. right, I remember, I was like, not shaking, but kind of shaking. And I remember just being like, so, like, it's a nervous feeling, but also excitement, just like, just jolted through my body just so excited Mm -hmm. and when we did when we like turned to look I I I don't know how to explain it it was just a feeling of excitement and happiness and seeing you being like hot damn holy shit I I was yeah just checking out my butt the whole time (laughs) oh yeah oh yeah (laughs) your booty looked so good in those pants holy cow let's just go upstairs right now Jesus. (laughs) Jesus. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Um I yeah, I just was that's what I was thinking. And that it also kind of hit me then too, I think, like, okay, yeah, this is happening. Mm-hmm. And it's crazy because I was like waiting so long for that moment. What was like the mo- what were you most excited for for the like the day of party? Oh yeah, you said that. <laughs> Mine was the vows and first look. Oh, whatever. Third party. I'm mental. <laughs> whatever. Start off a good time. Yeah. What was, so when you were at the, um, at the arch, mm-hmm. which by the way, her uncle made, and it was, I mean, and uh, what I love most about it was that it's how you pictured it. It's mm-hmm. just how you pictured the arch. And I've never seen another arch like that ever before. Mm-hmm. Go look at pictures. It's like, yeah, it, mm-hmm. never seen one before. So I thought that was really cool. It turned out amazing. Yeah. It looks so good. Mm-hmm. It's so good with like the colors that we had with the girls walking down the dresses and stuff. Mm-hmm. And just, yeah, so good. I'm so glad we seen it. Yeah. It looked a lot better. Right, yeah. And it looked better with the greenery that we used on yeah. the lights. So good. What was it? So when I was walking down the aisle and like when you first saw me, when you mm-hmm. first saw me around the corner and then as I was walking up, what, like, what were your thoughts? What were your feelings? What was going through your head? I didn't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing with your hands? I think just like this. Yeah. Not like this. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And then, because, like, and then Ben was crying, too. Mm-hmm. She was like, that sucks. Yeah. So I'm sure your dad felt pretty bad about that. Yeah. And just, like, I'm sure he didn't want to deal with that mm-hmm. then. But. Yeah. So that, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I re- it would have been different had we not done our first look before. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Since you, yeah, You're right. Yeah, but okay. that's true. I was just watching you walk down. Yeah, I remember. Like I was, I was walking with. I watched my mom, and then Jim, my stepdad, and then my real dad, and then walked by myself a little bit of the ways. For like the rest of the ways. But I remember um just look like I wanted to just look at you. Like I didn't like I didn't look at the people or anything. I just looked straight ahead. I remember just like I just looked at you like as I was walking down. Yeah, I don't know what that you and I remember getting to you and I was like sh- I don't know why, but I was you were shaking and I never like I never physically shake like that and I was physically shaking. The only time other time that happened was when I had a panic attack. And are we panicking? You're like fuck. Oh, what am I no, <laughs> but it was more of like ex- I think it was just excitement. I don't know, but yeah, I was like actually, I was like I didn't even realize it until I got to you. That yeah, and it could be because I was also that was one of the other moments that I was super hyped and excited for mm-hmm. and looking forward to was like walking down to you. Yeah, so that could have been why too. A couple of the things that we did that was super non-traditional 
was having a barefoot ceremony, Mm -hmm. which I love that we did that. I I wish we would have gotten a picture of me holding my dress up and your feet. So that way we could have gotten that picture, but it's okay. (laughs) So it was cool. Um, Another thing was that I walked down with my mom and then my stepdad and my dad and then the rest of the way by myself. I wanted all of it. And it was like your mom to your stepdad Mm -hmm. and then them two together kind of, right? Yeah. So we, because then I think my mom hugged my stepdad and then I took you. Yep. And my mom was behind us, also walked behind us. And then we got to my dad, Jim hugged my dad. Mm -hmm. And then I took my dad's arm. And they both, my mom and Jim walked behind me. And then I hugged my dad. I think, I think maybe Jim hugged my dad. And then we all hugged together for a moment and then turned. And then I walked the rest of the way and they went and sat down. So I liked that I did that. That was cool. I remember that I, cause you cried reading our vows, your vows. Cried a lot more than I thought I was going to. I know. And I didn't cry as much as I thought, but I think because. If when I think things, I will cry more than when it actually happens. Mm-hmm. But when I hear something, like I heard the song that I walked down to, I started crying. And as I was walking down, yeah. I started crying. And I think I, I remember like standing up there with you. I don't even remember hearing Shamani. I mean, a little bit, but I think I was just focused on like your hands holding <laughs> and looking at you. I and I just stared at the whole time. <laughs> And you were staring at me too, and then sometimes no, like, you would look away. Like sometimes I would look away. Yeah, but for, I think for the most part, you we looked at each other. Yeah. And then I think my favorite non-traditional thing that we did was the shot. Oh, yes, the shot and the build your build your own bouquet. Oh yeah, that was such a good idea. Your mom, me, and your mom were going back and forth ideas for what because I was going to do a one stem, and then we're going to do one stem in pompous, mm-hmm. and then we're deciding like what kind of things. And then your mom was like, "Why don't we just do build your own bouquet?" Like she she got all the pomp like different kinds of pompous. Ah, oh, and I was like, "Oh my god, it's such a good idea!" So then that morning, uh, like wh- whenever there was the time, they yeah got there. It was a dahlia, and then they were able to choose and make their own. It was a smaller one. It was just one dahlia, one sunflower, mm-hmm. and then they could do. Uh, there was a greenery stem, like a eucalyptus, a eucalyptus, and then pomp, different pompous, and they could. And then your mom had a ribbon they could tie. Yeah. I love that. But then the shot, yeah, oh, that's fun. Mm-hmm. Shot on the Lord. <laughs> Thankfully, there was pickled juice. I thought. I thought. That that was they almost, yeah they forgot it at first. Actually. No, I thought your dad was like legit. Like, no, you're not doing the pickle juice. And then Liz no. went and got it. No, they they Tana, almost did forget. Anna forgot it. Who I mean, brought it then? I don't remember. Somebody ran and got it though. Thank God, that would have been horrible. <laughs> I would have maybe gagged <laughs> at the altar. That would not have been good. Oh my gosh. That was like our uni- un- unity. People do like unity things. Ours was a shot. A shot. We did the kiss and then the shot. Mm-hmm. So, yes. What are some other non-traditional things that we did? I don't know. I think that's pretty much it. I have a list. Really? Yeah, I want to talk about it. I don't think there was really that much. Oh, yeah. We didn't do a typical registry. No gift registry. Yeah. Just money. We wanted to do a money fund for house. First, first house, baby. And honeymoon, but we're, I mean, I, everything's just going to savings and we'll use as needed. Yeah. And hopefully someday, maybe in a year or two, we want to go to Croatia, right? Mm-hmm. But I think it depends on if you get deployed. Yeah, we'll see what, we'll see what's going on next year. When we get closer to it. Yeah. And then we didn't do a typical bridal party. We only had our sisters, like her perfect amount of numbers. Mm-hmm. Your two brothers walked down, our two like made of per uh made, made of, of honor, persons. made of persons, made of <laughs> honor, whatever. Your mom was one of them, my sister was one of them, yep. and your brothers walked each of them down, which is perfect. Yep. And then your three sisters walked my three sisters down. And then instead of them standing, they went and sat down. So mm-hmm. just your mom and just my sisters stood up with us. I like that a lot. Yeah. And then we didn't do any big floral pieces, just my bouquet. And I definitely splurged on my bouquet, but that's fine. I wanted to. And I think I saw a picture of this where a bouquet had butterflies on it. And I was mm-hmm. like, oh my God, I want to do that. So I emailed my florist lady and asked, and she did have bouquets yeah. or butterflies. Mm-hmm. So we put that in my bouquet. No decorations other, other than centerpieces, which I'm glad we did. Right. One of the number one things that people said was that no one remembers your decorations. 
unless you're the type of person that wants to do that. Yeah. But we just, I mean, since it was outside anyways, like, right. didn't really need to other than having the centerpieces and like the table with our card box and stuff. And the lights. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the lights, string lights. But, yeah. Yep. We didn't do, so like if people, when people do like um, sparklers for like their false exit, like when they do those photos. The send off. The send off. Yeah. We jumped into the pool. Mm-hmm. That was fun. It was a lot of fun. I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't think about this until it happened, but my dress was really heavy. <laughs> I didn't think about it either. I remember my feet got like, lost in my dress and all tangled up, and I had to just use my arms. Yeah. And then we, we were like, okay, we're going to try and just take a picture, a group picture by the pool. But people were like Liz and a couple other people were like, you're going to jump in. They're going to jump in. Are you going to jump in? Yeah. Uh-huh. But I think it was cool that after we did, soon after, like everyone, yeah. like the majority of people, majority also people jumped in. in. Yeah. So it was cool. a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. We did. We each did. A, it was separate. Like we each had our own song with mom and dad. Yeah, like but one, one song. For, yeah, and I did mom, dad, stepdad. Uh the only entrance into reception, yeah, it was me and her, me and you. No wedding cake. Our uncle made Krogan Bouche, which is a French pastry. Mm-hmm. So good. Because we don't like cake anyways, really. Well, I like cake, but I just, I didn't want to do that anyways. Yeah. But you don't like the cake. Not yeah. really. We didn't really have, a, like, colors or a theme. We did have, like, I had a color scheme for, like, what I wanted them for dresses, to wear for dresses and, like, my bouquet and stuff, which I think worked really well. Because mm-hmm. the dark purple, dark blue, and it was, like, just a little bit of light pink stuff. Pink. Pink, that oh, looks good. Light blush. Yeah, it was good. My bouquet. I think I told you this. I looked up the the astrology flowers for different months. And I wanted to do like August for wedding month. I wanted to do July for when we officially started dating. And I wanted to do your birthday, Scorpio, and then me, Gemini. But I could only do because of the flowers that they had and stuff. I could only do your birthday, Scorpio. So mm-hmm. it's cool I got to that. And then um july for when we started mm. but uh, that was cool and i was like i don't care what the colors are that's just what i want in there and then no props for the end or wait of ceremony oh yeah, yeah like the talked about that. oh yeah bridesmaids oh yeah for the brides not bridesmaids but like the sisters no really no requirements other than the colors i just wanted to have a mix of the colors and they could wear whatever they wanted. Like I wanted them to be comfy and feel good and confident in them. And they could sh- they could choose. It worked out good. Mm-hmm. I like that there was a mix of short dresses and long dresses. Mm-hmm. I guess I, I think most of mine too. We have Liz and Hannah and Maddie had longer. Sarah and had shorter. And then you had yours had short. I think all of them. So yeah, it's good. So yes, that was all of the non traditional type stuff. What what's some things that you would have would have done differently? Like what we know now, what would you have done differently? Ceremony earlier, which we both said that. Mm-hmm. Uh, just because then we didn't get we didn't. It just felt like it was just go go go. Oh my like, gosh! Constantly like, having to do stuff after we yeah. couldn't even like we couldn't even like really party and enjoy it know, as much dance as is like. Yeah. Because I remember thinking the morning went by pretty slow for me. Not for you. Well, let's, we'll get to that. But I thought it went by slow. And then once we did the first look, the vows, it was like bam, bam, bam. Yeah. We got we gotta do this, we gotta do these photos, eat quick, do the dessert, do the dance, okay, everyone dance, have a little bit of time to drink, and that's it. And then it's like the grand the it's like a jump in the pool, like and then people want to take pictures and like mm-hmm. and uh it just would have been nice to have, like, even if we did the ceremony at, like, 4, 4.30, to have a little bit more time. I don't know. That's, yeah, I wish, yeah. even, like, 2.30, I don't know. I wish we would have done it earlier, and so then it would have had more time for just, like, but then I don't know how that would have worked with photographer and video ever either, but, yeah, I just, yeah. <clears throat> just so that I didn't go just bam, bam, bam so fast in, in the evening time. It went quick. Really quick. Yeah. Is there anything else that you would have done differently? Well, we have different opinions on this, but like that little 15 minute thing to ourselves, I don't think we needed that. Yeah, so that was after the ceremony. You got a little bit of food. 
Yeah. And like looking back, it would have been nice to like go and just like talk to random people and hang out and have a drink and eat a little bit of the appetizers. Mm -hmm. But the only reason we got an appetizer is because I ran into Melinda. I know. I know. She was checking. I know. Which was nice. Yeah. Yeah. But I think I, I mean, I don't regret that just because to me, I just, I wanted to have some time to just me and you to hang out and just like be with each other after getting married. Yeah. But all the time of our lives to do that. That's true. You should have told me that when we were planning this out. (laughs) It is. It is. Yeah. No, I know. Like, yeah, I think looking back, I would have not done that and I would have, um, and I would wait. What was the other time when we had our a uh, little bit of private time, but the photographer videographer was there? Oh no, that was okay. They were there right after the ceremony because then we did the signage of mm-hmm. the license. Um, and then I think it was soon after that. But yeah, I think it, it would have been fun to just like talk to people, have some appetizers, have some drinks yeah. until we had to, but oh whatever. What else would you have changed? Um, like, so we gave our DJ a list of songs, mm-hmm. having like a, mm-hmm. like, a, like a must play or for sure play list within that list, because there are some, we should have, there were some songs that got missed that I was pretty bummed about. I know, yes, so we had the whole, we had, I had songs and then slow songs, but yeah, we should have like put in bold or starred or had a list of for sure play songs. <laughs> So then we could have had those played. So yeah, I totally recommend that. Mm-hmm. If you have a good DJ that's going to play songs, like I've had people say that they gave their DJ a list and they like didn't play any of them. No, I wish I don't I, no he was I, really good. Yeah, I liked him. Yeah, he was good. Yeah, he did a shot him over after he got done working. Oh, he did. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. I didn't and he like, that. So he shot it and he like had no reaction. He's like, oh no, it's not that bad. And we're all like, oh, what? Now. oh my gosh. Like yes, you're right. And he had a beard too, and then he left. Like, oh, you know that he was cool guy. Yeah, yeah, that's good. What else have you changed? I don't know. Do you get anything? Yeah, I um, one of the other ones. Um, oh, maybe just a little bit more. Like, had our chairs been set up the right way for the re- rehearsal, a little bit more practice, and just saying like, hey, leave these couple of chairs open for like our sisters and my brothers because they were like. We should have had a sign. We should have had signage for that or just like something to say that. Cause yeah, I didn't even, didn't even think about that. To not even think about making sure that there's enough chairs for like family or just like whatever. Well, Cause like, I mean, there was enough chairs, but they had to go way to the back. Just your two brothers, brought, right? What? Your brothers had to go way to the back? No, they, they tried to stay closer to the front cause they were ushering people out. Yeah. Which we should have done a better job of leaving two chairs open for them in the front. Yeah. And then, like, the sisters, I mean, they could go into the back or wherever. This, who who sat in front? Um, on my side, it was my dad, Kara, and my grandma. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. I mean, did, I, I think, like, Liz, Maddie, and them, did they sit in front? Or second row? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't know. I think Maddie was in the front, for sure, but I don't really remember. Yeah, I think just making sure we had more of a plan for that. Yeah. And then we were, but here's the thing, we, we were so go with the flow whatever happens happens type of yeah. mindset <laughs> and i did more of the planning yeah. and like making sure things was happening but right. like there's I, I i can't remember all of those things or like thinking about that and even with even with all of that i still was like go with the flow whatever happens happens like didn't care as much and like uh, didn't make a huge deal about it, but I think that if I did make, if I did was more like on top of things and not as much like that, then some of these things wouldn't get missed, but I don't know. I also would have, um, made sure that we decided the table numbers. Well, okay. <laughs> that was carrot. I know, but if we ha- would have had a plan with that, that wouldn't have happened probably. We even had a plan with it. Like, or like ahead of time, been like, we're doing table numbers, but like, we're these are the table numbers, and this is having a list. This is who's gonna sit. Or this is no, how it's gonna. We tried to do that, and it was. Oh wait. Like a signing. Table. Oh no! Just having. Okay, no, well, I liked, I liked how we did it, where we just set the numbers out, and people just. Set no, them I know, out. I know, I know. But what I'm saying is, like, telling the DJ, like, we're gonna do one, th- like having a. Because Kara did it at random. 
right? Yeah. But I'm saying so that, if we were but, but I'm saying if we had a plan for that, that wouldn't have happened. We didn't even need a plan for that. We just should <laughs> I should have double checked Kara. Yeah. <laughs> she nah, was okay. digging around in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she was she was just messing around. Yeah. <laughs> screwed her because she went like last seat yeah i did <laughs> yeah so it's funny i think that also i would have more made sure like that we had more that we had everything set up the night before but also we even then like i want i i said what we couldn't have right yeah that's what like yeah but i thought like what were people asking you questions about then um but 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 like the card table and where to place that. Like where you said that it was like placing things somewhere. Yeah. So oh, we were rearranging the tables, I think, in the morning a little bit. And then the tablecloths were a big one because I had no idea like what tablecloths went where. So we're just trying to guess. Mm-hmm. And like the right tablecloths didn't get ordered. They didn't? No, because there should have been a white one for our table, but we had to use two different ones for ours. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah. Okay. And then, like, the high tops, where they wanted those, and what tablecloths they wanted on those. Like, it just, I don't remember. Yeah. And then, yeah, the card table, how, the, how that was supposed to be set up, and where that was at, and where the shoe sign shoe sign should go. And then just trying to fix the chairs, which were never really fixed. And then getting, I just setting up the arch and stuff. Doing the lights. Um, I can't remember. Oh, when people were going to get there. When people were going to get there? Yeah, like when the DJ was going to get there. And when... Um, right, yeah, I could have answered that. I think I maybe asked you, I don't remember. No. I don't know. I think uh, there was other. There was a lot. Of I think it should be more of a plan for the, the those like the setup and exactly knowing exactly where things are going to go and the placement of it. Well, how much can I say on here? No, I so I was working. I was working all morning. I know, and I didn't know that. I thought you were out there hanging out because you were downstairs by yourself. I know. <sighs> what else would you do different? I know there's other things. That's I know we just talked about it the other day. I know there was multiple things. It was just like little things. It overall, it was a great time. Yeah, yeah, for everybody sure. Everybody loved it. Oh yeah, so many people was like that's the like top top like but either the best wedding they've been to or like or funnest or like top three best. Most fun. Funnest is a word. What did I say? Funnest. Oh, most fun. Word. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Mackenzie was saying that her and Danny talked at work the next, like, Monday oh, or yeah. whatever, and both were saying how that was, like, one of the best mm-hmm. that they've been to. Yeah. Um, I would... Okay, people. We should have saved some desserts. Dessert, that's what I was just saying. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Desserts. Okay. Here's the deal. When you have one desserts, time. and I've actually had other people say, like, they don't get time to eat or have a dessert, they don't... Whatever. So, like, set food aside, but also... Um, whatever dessert it is, doesn't matter. Like, give me cake, cupcakes, whatever. Like, but have the person either making it or the caterer or whatever, if possible, set some aside for you. Like, I wish we would have told Danny, my uncle who made the desserts, to set some aside just in case because we ate and I was full from eating and drinking. Mm-hmm. And I, so I didn't want it at the time. And then people like brought them over, but I was still full. And then I was I like, bam, we gotta mean. do, we gotta take a, Crocombusha and put in each other's mouths, and then we gotta do this and that. Yeah. And so, like, yeah, we had that one, that was but it. that was it. And then they, they were, were gone, gone by the end of the night. Is and that kid, because, man, <laughs> they were very popular. And then, yes, the kid, there's a kid that just like kept going ham on those. Yeah, I heard that from multiple people. Oh yeah, like, he was just yeah. a little vacuum with those yep. things. <laughs> yeah. So totally wish either we would have set some aside somewhere, or like had Danny or Amber like do it, or just have shit desserts that nobody wants no <laughs> i know there's other things yeah there was yeah oh i wish i would have because with like this we did the speeches oh oh uh, okay the toast 
Okay. Yeah. We because we had the DJ closer to where we had our tables where everyone's seated, see it sitting for dinner. But then you, we you guys moved the DJ to which way over. Good idea. Which yeah, because for the dancing, yeah. yes, perfect, loved it. But I wish we would have tested out the mics where we were because this is kind of a ways away from the speakers. We should have tested it out. Tested it out. What? You go on. I got a story about it. Okay. We should have tested it out. And then uh, realizing that there was that echo and couldn't hear very well, we should have seen if we could have the DJ bring the speaker over and something to make it so that you could hear it better. Because for Hannah's speech, for all the speeches, the people that were in back couldn't really hear. And I know that because Mackenzie told me that they were in back and they could not hear. Yeah. And so that sucked. She said that. um, Yeah. They just laughed when people left. Yeah, they they heard most of my dad's. They didn't hear any of Hannah's, really. Yeah, or you. Or my dad's. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, but when she, people would So laugh, it was, would, yeah, it was Mara that kind of started that. Oh, it was. They were all laughing. Kenzie. No, they were all laughing, like, really stupid, too. Like, doing awkward laughs. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I, don't, I didn't hear that. Oh, yeah. I was just going to text Mara about it, and I forgot. I'll have to do but that, that sucks. So. Like, because Hannah had a really good speech. Yeah. I thought. Yeah. I thought it was good. So, yeah, I wish that we would have... Uh, Test it out, figure that out. And then for the speech that I gave for like thank yous and stuff, I got thrown off because of that echo. And so I wish, and I was gonna just like write it down, write in my notes, whatever, making sure I've hit everyone and what I wanted to say. But I was like, nah, I got it in my head, I'll be fine. No, I I mean I think it was fine, but I just I just I yeah, there's other things I would have said or I would have slowed down, I would have like I just it threw me off with that echo, and then and then that created chaos in my mind, Mm -hmm. and then I'm just like. There's pictures that I wish we would have gotten to, like with Sally and Ben. I know. The first time, yes. Yeah. yeah, it was great. Like, I think that if you have a family who and family friends who's willing to help, like do hair, do makeup, do bartending, whatever it is, if possible, say yes to them. Like, just because you're not like, quote, professionals. Like everybody thought Sally and Ben were professionals. Well, yeah. And then also for the hair, like she did a great she job. Did. And like, we're like, yeah. Like, they're like, oh, yeah, she's really good at braids and the whatever. So I'm like, heck, yeah, save some money that way. Mm-hmm. Like, I brought in a makeup person because I didn't know. No one said anything about people. She, she did makeup, but amazing and she, job. Yes. She, she, she was it. so good. Yeah. In Minnesota, so she's in Minnesota, Smoke Show Studios. She did a great so job. So good. And everybody. Yes. Loved it. <sighs> okay, what else would we have changed? I'm trying to think because um, we got the morning time. I think I would have, I would have wanted to, I read over, I took like two weeks to do my vows and like reread them, but I wish I would have, cause I just like wrote them again or like did it, but I wish I would have reread them and then maybe fix or like added different things. I don't know. I just made sure that's how I wanted it, but, but I was thinking about it and like, cause like to me, that was like a super important part was getting everything out there for me to you. Mm-hmm. But but also, I think it's more important living it out. Like, just, right. living, you know, like, it. I don't know. You can tell me it now. Tell me just as much. Yeah. Right. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be, like, just that day of. Yeah. Well, you didn't promise me that, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your vows that you did the day, the morning of. Yep. But they were so good. <laughs> so, I don't know. I thought yours were better than mine. I thought, man, I thought yours were better than mine. I'm like, oh, even though there was, like, short but powerful. Yeah, I get to the point. I don't dick around like you do. I just like to say a lot. <laughs> Me too. I get to the point. I know. Um, so yeah, that and then the ceremony, which we would have started a little bit earlier. Yeah. 15 minute thing. But yeah, I guess maybe that's kind of it for what we would have done differently. Okay, my here's my biggest piece of advice. Because before when we're not like planning, like when doing the planning and the website and everything, I remember going on Facebook and being like, what's your biggest advice for planning a wedding? And people like said, don't worry about decorations. No one remembers them. Remember, it's just about you two. Oh, this too. Okay. Because people said like, don't try to make other people happy. Like do whatever you guys want to do. And I'm so glad we stuck to what the things that we wanted to do that we wanted to incorporate. And, and, and like we, whatever we wanted to do to make us happy. No, that's drinking. <laughs> you don't want to leave that in? I will. I will. But I'm just trying to. Okay. So what we, we, and I told Mackenzie this too, I was like, we did what we wanted to do, not worrying about anyone else. We weren't, I wasn't worried about making people happy. I wasn't worried about making sure that they were going to have fun. Like we just were doing what we wanted to do. And as a result, everyone did have a lot of fun. Yeah. 
but I'm glad that like we that that's how like we were planning things and like doing mm-hmm. things. And I think there was a little pushback from at least one person. Like especially about the registry stuff. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. And we also um I think that it's important to to like remember that you can literally do anything and like anything that you want. It doesn't have to be if you like traditional, that's fine, but you can change you can make you you can make it yours however you want. Mm-hmm. Ceremony, reception, like anything. You can add and do anything you want with that. Because our so our um officiant, Shamani. Loved her. Look her up if you need an officiant. She's also an astro. So the reason we I met her was because uh like for a year or two ago, I wanted to find an astrologer for the podcast. I'm in a female podcasters group, like not, not Facebook, it's like its own platform. And I put a post out and someone had recommended Shamani. So I looked her up on Instagram, messaged her and we, I got her on the podcast and she was on. And then, so we've been Facebook friends like ever since. Um, and I remember seeing a post that she is an officiant that she's ordained and does that. I'm like, holy shit that I want you. And uh, you, like you're the person and so i yeah. reached out to her and like booked her and all of that she and, did a great job oh my gosh so good so good i'm and she implemented a little bit of astrology in there and she too was like we can make this however like you can be i liked the creative aspect of it like we can do whatever we wanted she was you know we would go back and forth with with like the um rough draft of it and she would like find out what we wanted implemented and stuff like that but she was also one that was like, you can literally do anything. One thing I do wish I would have done was like Googled unique generic vows or something, just because remember you sent me that TikTok and it was like, I don't think it was, it wasn't vows, but it was just something at, like it something to add it or it was vows. But we, we did our vows people. privately anyway. Yeah, we did our pri- vows privately, but we also had that little thing because we had to say the I do. So she did, we did come up with a little bit like Nova. 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 Hey, come here. Nova. Come here. So we did do a little bit where like whatever, like love you through the good times, challenging times, blah blah yeah. stuff like that. But then there's on TikTok, you saw that video where it it said um it was never lie steal never lie steal or cheat and if you're gonna lie lie in bed with me i can't even say it right now i'll cry it's it was so good i can't if you're gonna steal steal steal, no steal my sorrows and that's in the rest of it it was if you cheat cheat i hope you cheat death yeah (laughs) i see i oh i so wish we we found that before the wedding and put that in there because I've never, never seen uh, that. Like like one of those with that saying on it. <gasps> yes. Okay. okay. And then I have another idea with one of our um wedding photos. I have I actually did this, um, but I didn't print it out. I'll have to show you. It's line art mm-hmm. that people do, or mm-hmm. or I know someone else that like paints like through pictures, like paints mm-hmm. pictures, but either way, it'd be cool to have that and then have that saying on there. But, and I think here's the thing too that I am, I know I have to up, <laughs> keeping in mind is that there's always going to be new ways of doing things. There's always going to be things that people come up with that's super creative and you're like, oh, I wish we had yeah. done that. And like, there's always going to be those things. And you're, I think after a wedding, you're going to always be like, I could have done this. We should have done this. But like, you don't know what you don't know until like after it's done. Right. And, and yeah, new things will come in. So it's just like, that's what really helps me when everything was said and done when i was like oh we could have done this we should have done this we could have had these vows whatever but it's just like knowing that that's that like there is always going to be new things there's always going to be things that put it under friendly you should talk about monday when we're driving home yep so um okay back to what i was saying um that started that whole spiel there so the biggest advice that I would give, yeah, be, okay, because the Facebook posts, yeah, the face when people were saying take time for each other and just remember it's about you two and like the more important part is after that day, um, and yeah, so just a bunch of advice that people what like was giving, but the thing we're that giving. we're giving, yeah. oops, but 
no one gave us advice. No one told me or prepared me for or warned me or any of that. Did you ever ask Hannah if she felt like that? I did. I'll tell you what she said. Too. Okay. Um, and no one gave us advice. So I'm going to say it right now. This is my biggest piece of advice is to prepare for and warn you that this is a possibility because I was not warned was the potential low that you're going to have and you're going to feel after the wedding day. Like my mom said, it's like a loss. It is. I'm going to read what, um, also what someone else said on there because so here's what happened. I, the next day we decided to stay an extra day, went out on the boat, hung out with people. So it was fine. I wasn't thinking about leaving. Like we were still having fun, but the next morning I woke up and as soon as I started packing things, I started to cry and I didn't want to, I didn't want to feel it. I didn't want to think about it. So I like tried to just not think about it. I just kept on packing, but like I started and just started to cry. And I was like, I'm just going to wait till we get in the car, got in the car and just started bawling, bawling, crying. I think if we would have done this podcast like a week or two ago, I would have started crying again, but I think I'm okay now. But I felt a huge low. It was horrible. Like I felt deeply saddened so sad just because like for a long time there was so much planning and creativity and so much hype leading up to the day Mm -hmm. and so much excitement leading up to the day and every single day literally every day since you proposed I would think about the day the vows the first look walking down the aisle the dress like how I'm gonna feel like I would picture all of that and so there was so much hype with that leading up to the day And people say, like, it's going to come and go so fast. But I even try to, the day of, like, take moments of, like, becoming as present as possible, taking some deep breaths, like, just living in the moment. And looking back, it went, it did go really fast. Mm -hmm. And I knew, I, like, tried to prepare myself that the day was going to come and go. Like, at some point, it's going to come and it's going to go. Like, I'm looking to the future, but at some point, it's going to come and it's going to go. But it's, it did not, I did not know that I was going to feel as low as I did. Yeah. I didn't feel it as much just because I don't think I did as much as the planning and all of that. But... Yeah. And I'm very much a thinker. Like, I'll think about situations and things. And it's like I got super attached to the feeling and the excitement and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, And then also, so Hannah... My sister, I asked her about that and she said, she said that she didn't really feel that. I think a little bit, but because she went on a honeymoon like right after. Mm-hmm. So she had that to look forward to and maybe like a slower, like mm-hmm. whatever. But um, I'm going to, yeah, because in one of my Facebook posts, I said today I was filled with intense sadness as we were getting ready to leave and drive home now that the day, now that the day I've been looking forward to has come and gone. Please tell me this is a normal human response post big life event. And someone like worded it really. So her, she's like, Mm -hmm. she said, this is normal. You can Google it, talk to a psychologist or whomever. It's a real thing. Most people, mostly women go through. And I feel like you're like the guy. Yeah. (laughs) Pretty sure. Yeah. Go through after the wedding because of the high of planning, organizing and anticipating. Congratulations again. I'm so happy for you and Kiana. You both are beautiful individuals that make one special soul. Soul. I'm excited to see your journeys in life together. That is the next. Oh, yep. She said, I'm excited to see your journeys in life together. That is the next highs in life to look forward to. I was like, oh, damn, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yes. But yeah, that's literally my biggest piece of advice. I would say. Be ready for that. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that. That's a possibility. Mm -hmm. And it's okay. Like if you do feel that, don't push away. Just like let yourself cry. Tell your person that, your partner that. And like it's 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 okay, yeah. I'm sorry I'm not crying out, but that's good. I must just be over that because before when I would tell people that, like I burn, yeah, I started to cry. Yeah. Do you have any other like advice for the day? Um, put your marriage certificate back in the folder right away. Oh, oh fuck! Yeah, yeah. Sure that your planner does. We lost our legal marriage certificate. We did. the only piece of paper. We didn't lose it. It got it lost. got misplaced. Yes. Because we signed it. All the papers were on the coffee table. We left it. I totally forgot about it. Didn't even think about it. Because we had to go to other stuff right away. Yeah. And uh, then it got 
So I just kicked myself too, because I got into the, there's papers I got into the envelope. I'm pretty sure I looked at it before we left your dad's house Mm -hmm. and I saw the pieces of paper and I'm, I just assumed one of those was it not thinking about looking at the signatures obviously because Shamni's was only on the one that was like the pretty one and I knew that but it wasn't on any others Hannah and your mom's wasn't on any of them like so obviously it wasn't there and so then like probably a week later when I was actually I, I like had this gut feeling about it like all the time and I should have that's I should have known that and so I looked and then realized that it was gone and of course the one piece of paper that we need that's the one that was missing so we're gonna have to go to the courthouse and ask them if we can get a duplicate or just get a whole new one and get a duplicate of something they don't have okay well they should have it on file well but anyways get just see what we gotta do and see if they can backdate it to august 26th and if not, we're just going to have another legal marriage on a different day. But we're going to be celebrating on August 26th. Hasn't even been a month and we're divorced. Gosh. Uh, yeah. So dumb. That's all I can think of. Yeah. And I think just what other people said, like, decorations. I mean, if that's your jam, awesome. But really, no one's going to remember that. And do whatever you want to do. It can, you can be as creative as you want. Do whatever the fuck you want. There's no rules based off of you. And I remember someone in that, in that post that I posted about like asking for advice. Someone was like, I don't know, like make sure or no saying how, like, I don't remember what it was. Something about like not making other people like trying to make the people have, as long as they're, Oh, I don't remember. It was just about making sure that the people there have fun or maybe at her wedding, people got mad because of certain oh, yeah. things and she was, yeah. that's but, not good advice. No, it wasn't because you're, they're there for you. Yeah, fuck them. Like, it, you shouldn't have to please them in any way. Like, it's, right. they're there for you. It's your wedding. It's your day. You can make it what, you can make it whatever you want yeah. and however you want. Mm-hmm. So, yep. Okay. What was your, oh, dancing and party. What's your favorite moment? Mm-hmm. I get people that say, like, how's it feel being, being married now? Do you ever get that? Yeah. How does it feel? No different. Yeah. It doesn't feel any different. Which I didn't expect. I mean, I didn't expect it to feel any different. No. Some people say that it like needs to feel different, but why does it need to? What do you mean? I don't know, dude. I've just heard that before. Oh, I've never heard that. Or it should feel different. It is different because you're legally binded together now. I mean, I've heard people like in a good way that it should be different. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Oh, okay. Like stronger, like a stronger relationship. No, oh. not like that. I don't know, dude. I never mind. Can we cut that whole thing? What the heck? Dude, I'm so tired right now. I would... oh, okay, you're telling me then. Yeah. Okay. I've heard like people say that it should feel different because it is different, but I don't think it does feel any different. Yeah. No, I don't think it does either. And I I think that um I re- okay, so I'll just say this and then we'll wrap it up. But I heard someone say how like being married eventually like because you feel like you got the person then that's when it changes and that's when it's different because you're you're not trying as hard or you know that like yeah you're basically you're not trying as hard or whatever yeah but you can say that whenever yeah and yeah you know yeah yeah i don't think it feels different for me the only difference is it's just the concept of saying that i'm married because i used to not want to be married i used to just i couldn't see myself being married didn't want to get married i was like i'm not gonna do that so it's just like the concept of it kind of, but it's like exciting at the same time. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, I'm tired too. Sure. What? Sure you are. I am. Okay. I feel like there was more that I wanted to say, but I don't know. I'll do an intro to this and say it if I want. If I need to. Okay. But, and you don't like being called wife. So I don't know what to call you. you need to think I don't about. know. Yeah, I don't like wife. I don't like partner. I don't know. Do you like calling me your wife? Yeah, I haven't yet, though. Oh, okay. I just call you by your name. Yeah. All right. That's it. Mm-hmm. Thanks for doing this with me. So I know you didn't really want to. <laughs> yeah, I did. You did, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't that I didn't want to. Yeah. But this is good because we wouldn't have been able to do it like next weekend anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Finally. <laughs>
with Denver. Okay, bye. All right, bye. <laughs> Slauncha. 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 Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Flow With The Grow. I'll see you next week for your daily dose of positivity and growth.